Welcome to At Home with Music. In our last video, we were talking about seventh chords, and I talked about how if you use a dominant seventh chord, you can play the blues by using the blues scale over the dominant seventh chord. And I also promised that I would demonstrate the blues scale, and so that's what this video is going to be about. So we're going to switch to the overhead camera and have some fun with the blues scale. Now the blues scale is constructed just like any other scale with a series of half steps and whole steps. And in the blues scales case, we also have to use a minor third in there, a couple of them actually. So we're going to start on C, C above middle C, and we're going to work our way down. I like to play the blues scale starting going down because it's a little bit easier to play that way. So starts on C, and you can go down a whole step to B flat, and then down a minor third, which is one, two, three half steps, to G, half step, F sharp, half step, F, and then a whole step to E flat, and then another minor third back to our starting note. Also, notice the fingers that I'm using. I'm starting on one, or excuse me, five. <laughs> Got my hand backwards there. Five, and then three. Then you use your thumb, and you go back to three, and then your thumb again, and then three. So a lot of five, three, one, three, one, three, five. So you do it with those fingers. And that's basically the blues scale. Now, of course, I'm starting on C. And there's actually, well, quite a few more blues scales that you can play. Because you can start on any note and using that same sequence of half steps, whole steps, and minor thirds, you can play the blues scale starting on any note. Now, of course, you can play it going down and going back up. Now I'm going to be showing you pictures of all the different blue scales. Here is the D flat blues or the C sharp blues. I like to write this one out as C sharp so you're not using all these weird double flats. Same thing, whole step, half, uh, excuse me, minor third, half step, half step, whole step, minor third. This one's a little harder to play, tricky. And then, of course, there is a D blues. Some of the blues you're going to find, the scales are, are live. They lie very nicely under your fingers, and so they are easier to play. So with the blues scale on D, you start on your fourth finger, and you go four, three, and then you skip over, and then use your fourth finger here, and then the rest of the notes lie very nicely under your hand. Now, this one's mostly on the black keys, and then we have E, F, F sharp, whoops, you can see I don't play that one too often, there we go, sometimes it helps to break them up into three and four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Now you're going to find that most of the time you're going to be playing the blues in C or in D, maybe even F or G. Same pattern. Half step, minor third, half step, half step, whole step, minor third. And I'm beginning to see a pattern here, aren't you? Now, as I mentioned in our last video, you can play an, a seventh chord. Let's start with a C7. You can play it this way. If your hands are more comfortable playing it like this in first inversion, you can do that. And then you can use that as the accompaniment to whatever you want to play using the C blues scale. And then you can go to an F7 chord. 
and you notice that the blues scale fits over that chord as well. And then... And then now, you can actually play an, a G7 chord, and you can use the G blues, and then back to the C major, or C blues, and then... Now that's, this is like the elementary blues piece that I'm making up as we go along. So let's play it again. I'll slow down here. So we start with... It's all the blues scale. And then we change the chord, but the scale say uh, this. You know, I can't talk and play at the same time. The scale stays the same. And then it goes back. So here I'm using the G blues. And then here, that's the F blues scale. And then it goes back to C. Now, I should probably explain what the chord progression is for your typical 12-bar blue blues. Starts with, like, say you're going to play the blues in C. That's your first chord, C7. And that goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4, 2, 4, and 4, 2, 3, and then 5, and 6, and 7, and eight and nine two three four ten two three four eleven two three four twelve two three four so that's the twelve bar blues measure three measure four and then measure five seven eight nine 10, and then 11, 12. So that should give you a lot to work with because now you can play the blues in different keys. I get lost sometimes, but you can work it out. Now you can play the blues in every key, but I would suggest that you stick with the key of C and maybe the key of G and work it out from there, and you can make up your own little blues songs. So have fun with that, and if you have any questions about this, this, of course, is just getting your foot in the door, just barely getting in there and just getting a little bit of a start. Obviously, there's a lot more to it than that, but you got to start somewhere, and this is a good place to start. So now you've been acquainted with the blues scale. So thanks for watching, and I encourage you to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as I mentioned, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those below in the comment section, or you can contact me through my website, at homewithmusic.com.